Welcome to the Air Canada Corporate Rewards tutorial video for Program Administrators. In this tutorial, there are five chapters that will help you understand the overall platform and how each function works. We will be covering your account configuration, how to organize it into multiple divisions, add your travelers, run reports, and finally, book. We have lots of great features to show you today, and as you'll see, it's quite straightforward. Let's start with Chapter 1, Setting Up Your Account. The Account section covers your account details and configuration. To manage your account, click the Admin tab and then click on Account. Use the Account submenu options to update your account details and settings, create expense tracking codes, and update the primary corporate contact information. You can select the option to manage the company's travel or invite a travel agency. By default, the account settings are managed by the corporation. If the company is managed by a travel agency, click the Account Settings and then check the Travel Agency option. Fill in the fields provided and then click Save. A notification email sent on your behalf will invite the agency to manage your account and its divisions. When there is more than one travel agency for the account, you must apply these travel management settings at the division level. Now let's review how to add a tracking code to start tracking the company's booking expenses. To add one, select the Tracking Codes tab. Click on Add an Internal Tracking Code. Enter a custom name that will represent what you are tracking and click Submit. To delete an existing tracking code, select the applicable tracking code by checking the box. Click Delete in the drop-down menu and then click Go. If you are the primary corporate contact of the account, you will receive all program communication and updates. To change the primary corporate contact, click on Corporate Contact and fill out the fields provided. You can have more than one program administrator, but only one is assigned to be the primary contact and receive all program communications. The primary corporate contact must be an employee of the company. Once you are finished, click Save Changes. The Payment section allows you to add multiple payment options, which you must assign to all or specific divisions. Once they are assigned, these payment options can be managed by the division administrator and must be set for one or multiple travelers in a select division. To add a payment option, click Add a New Card. Fill in the details and assign the card to all or select divisions. At the account level, you can also assign to all travelers, if applicable, and save. To delete a payment option, check the box of the payment you want to delete and then select Delete from the drop-down menu. To edit an existing payment option, select the payment, modify the account payment details or the payment option assignments as necessary, and save. That's it for the account chapter. We can now move on to organizing the account into divisions. Creating divisions allows you to group your account by subsidiaries, specific departments, or by office location, and then customize them. Again, under the Admin menu, you can find the Divisions section. To add a new division, click Add a Division. Fill out the fields provided. You can add a division administrator here, or invite a travel agency to manage this division. Once you are finished, click Save. To edit an existing division, click on the division name. Edit the division details as necessary and then click Save. To delete a division, select the division and then the Delete Division option from the drop-down menu and then click Go. It should be removed from the list. Now that your divisions are created, let's assign who will manage the travel for this division, the company or a travel agency. Select your division. Click the Settings tab and select the Travel Management options that suit this division. Once you are finished, click Save. If you like detailed reports, you are going to want to add more tracking codes at the division level. Simply click on the division name you would like to start tracking and click on the Tracking Codes tab. Click Add an Internal Tracking Code. Enter a custom name and click Submit. To delete an existing tracking code, check the box of the respective tracking code. Select the Delete option in the drop-down menu and click Go. 
In this section, you can add additional payment options to the ones you've added at the account level. If you have already added some, they should be displayed on this page, and you must assign them to Travelers to enable them to use it. Click on the Traveler link. Select the Assign To box next to the selected traveler name and click Save. You can always check the Assign To All box for all travelers. Add a new card at the division level by clicking on Add a New Card and filling in the card details. Quick tip, a division administrator can do this for the divisions they manage. If you have no division administrator, you can assign a traveler this role. We will cover this in the next chapter. To delete a payment option, check the box next to the card. Click Delete in the drop-down menu and then click Go. To edit an existing payment option, select your payment option. Edit the account payment details and then click Save. Note that credit card numbers cannot be modified. You need to delete the entire payment option and enter a new one. You can create up to 12 divisions in total. Now let's move on to Chapter 3, How to Add and Manage Your Travelers. You can add one or multiple travelers at a time. You can also invite travelers to access the site and create their own profile. Note that by default, every new profile is assigned the role of Traveler. First, click the Admin menu and select Travelers. To add one traveler, click Add Single Traveler and fill in the fields provided. Check the Send Password box to provide the traveler with access to the site. Don't forget to assign the traveler to a division. You may also assign them an administrative role and aeroplan number if applicable. Click Save. Take note that granting a program administrator role would give them the same access as you. Division administrators can only manage the division that has been assigned to them. Within their division, they can add payment options, assign travelers to a travel arranger role, which we will see later, add tracking codes, run reports, and book and manage travel for their assigned travelers. To add multiple travelers at once, click Add Multiple Travelers. Next, click Browse to locate your employee list, which must be in a CSV format. In the Division drop-down menu, select the All Divisions option, or a specific division to which these employees will belong. Check the Send Password box to grant your travelers access to the site. Once you are ready, click Upload. Note that if you do not wish to send the password now, you can send a password to a traveler at any time to provide them access to the site. On the Manage Travelers page, check the box next to the traveler's name. Select Send Password in the drop-down menu and then click Go. To send an invitation to one or more travelers to create their own profile and to grant them access to arrange their own travel, click Invite Travelers on the Manage Travelers page. Click one of the three options available. Finally, fill in the fields provided and then click Send. Here's a tip. Under the Invitation tab, you can also track and view the status of all the invitations sent. Now that you have added one or more travelers, let's review how to assign and edit their roles. If you haven't already done this while adding your traveler, you may assign them as a program or division administrator at any time by selecting your traveler and the Assign Edit Administrator Role option in the drop-down menu. Click OK to confirm your action. At the bottom of the page, you can either select a program or a division administrator role and click Save. Note that you can remove the administrator role at any time by selecting the No Administrator role instead. Another role that we have not introduced yet is the Travel Arranger. A Travel Arranger can only book and manage travel for the travelers that have been assigned to them. Note that a Division Administrator has the ability to assign this role to the travelers they manage and that you are, by default, granted with the same access as a Travel Arranger. To update a traveler with a Travel Arranger role, check the box and select the Create Edit Travel Arranger option from the drop-down menu. You must now assign the travelers that the Travel Arranger can manage. Simply select the To Assign to All Travelers from All Divisions checkbox. To allow access to book for only select registered travelers, 
Click the Traveler link next to the applicable division and check the box next to each traveler's name you wish to add. When you're finished, click Save Changes. If needed, you can move a traveler to a new division. First, check the box representing the traveler and then select the Move to New Division option from the drop-down menu. In the Confirmation pop-up window, select the New Division for this traveler and click OK. Once a payment option is added at a division level, you can assign the credit card payment to all or select travelers at the division level. First, click on Divisions. Click the appropriate division name. Next, click the Payment tab in the Manage This Division submenu. To assign a payment option to a traveler, click on the Travelers link in the Assigned To column corresponding to the payment option. Check the box next to Assign to All, or check the box next to the individual travelers to assign the payment option for that select traveler. Click Save Changes to complete this action. At any time, you can request access to the traveler's profile information to facilitate the booking process. On the Manage Travelers page, click Request Profile Access next to the applicable traveler. Read the Request Access to Traveler Profile Notice and then click OK to send the request or cancel. By clicking OK, the program sends an email to the traveler requesting access to his or her profile. Only when the traveler grants access you will have access to manage and edit their profile information. To enable or disable a traveler's access, first check the box next to the applicable traveler and select the Enable Access or Disable Access option from the drop-down menu. To delete traveler access, perform the same process as earlier but select Delete Access. A traveler's basic information can be updated at any time. In the Manage Travelers page, check the box next to the applicable traveler. In the drop-down menu, select the Edit Traveler Details option and then click Go. Edit the information in the fields provided and then click Save. Your account is now set up. You can now proceed to reporting and booking. Remember, you can always refine your results by adding tracking codes at the account or division level for more detailed reports. Let's review how to run Excel and PDF reports for flight and car rental bookings made through the Corporate Rewards site. First, click on the Admin tab and then click Reports. Now you can personalize the criteria for your report. You can filter your report by division and tracking code. Next, select the type of report you would like to run and then the region of travel you would like to analyze. Finally, specify a start and end date for your report. When you are finished, click Run Report. You have access to book flights and cars for other travelers by simply entering their name in the search field and selecting the name. To view and modify bookings on the main menu, click the Book tab and then Manage Bookings. To view and manage corporate bookings made on other sites, select the Import External Bookings tab and enter the booking reference. To book a flight, select the Book tab and then click Book Flight. There are a number of options you can include while booking a flight. To book a car, select the Include Car option. You can also View Fares Eligible for Upgrade and or select Use Flight Pass if applicable. You can always go back at any time and book a car rental after you have completed your flight bookings. You now know how to set up your account, create divisions, add travelers, assign roles, track, report, and book travel. For a more detailed overview, please reference the user guide found under the Support tab in the main menu.